Are you all happy with your employment? No. It's a good point to start the life, but not probably to continue. Right? According to the good, bad, then bad, bad. Employees will never will be happy. Right? Therefore, it says that at least we have to go for the next step. I need to be a businessman or a professional. Right? That way, you can be more happy than employees. But it's still not the best thing to do. Right? So, we are professionals. See, even in the Sunday evening, and here. So, therefore, still there are issues, right? So, therefore, according to them, yes, you can enter your life as a entrepreneur, right? Or inventor or innovator. Therefore, we should try to be an innovator at least to enjoy life more comfortably. Right? You enjoy business after, if you can do it a little bit, probably you can enjoy your life more than. Here you have to, to fight the next step at this. Right. Unfortunately, that's the main issue in this country. I think we have no entrepreneurs. Right? That's the main issue in this country. That culture is not developed in this country. We are like monkeys. Right? Monkey can't the kettle of the dollar the army people to move the head. Yes. We all know that this age will take the bananas. Because the monkey doesn't know that you can take more bananas, more thousand dollars. Right? Likewise, in Sri Lanka, if there's a business and employment, our people will go for an employment, right? Because they do not know that, that they can make more money from the business. Maybe, according to our culture, there may be some restrictions and the difficulties in the beginning. Right? But that difficulty is not only this, uh, that culture is not developed in this country. That's one of the things that culture is not developed. So that is why when there are business people go to take their things done, right? The people won't help them because it is not your next. People do not that they provide jobs, they help the country's economy and GDP. Therefore, people will try to non traditionalize and so on and so on. For that, you have to develop that culture within the country to be started from this school. Right? This school will be employees in a country one and never happen, right? Okay. That's a different culture right? that we have to turn you turn me. Right? And the community of Japan, we have to get out of the technical people to make a little bit of a hospital. That want to be a culture, right? The business people are not going to be able to stay in the doctor and the hospital. And business starting with what they look at, right? So, here to make this country a better place, that is where we have to start, right? Right. Up in the day, GMT channel, so they can have a very entrepreneurial deal of an industry, right? But yes, so probably you are likely anyway to be able to in this country this time, right? Because business people are going to the very hard time, but definitely that's not the way to go forward. Fine. So you don't have any business, but anyway, you might have learned how to incorporate or how to register your business. What do you think? What type of business are easy to register? Is it sole commercial or limited company, you think? Which business is easy to register? Sole partnership or limited term? Sole partnership is easy. Yes. I mean, easy means to my the easy, convenient, simple, quick. Yes. Probably almost all the students believe that sole partnership is easiest, simplest, quickest way to register. But probably, if you experience it, it is different. Once you learn how to incorporate the company, you will change your mind. Right? Even though you don't have a source of ownership, if you want to incorporate a source of ownership, source of ownership, first you have to go to the government. Right? To meet that man, you will take at least three years. Not easy to meet your government. Right? This is the number of meaning. I mean, I'm going to run down and die from the organization. Right? You have both the day after the company, maybe they'll stay with you, then they have both for two hours out, or somebody has to go to the other time, whatever. Then you have to go to another place. 
He has no one place. He has about three, four official places. Right. Then, no, you all know that. Man. It's not easy to meet that man, even though he's meant to be in your area. Some people even have seen. But it's meant to be one of the causes government officer to meet the people. Right. Then he says, you need to come to the provincial secretary's office the day he is given to you. Right. Then those people will say, okay, you're going to start a business, then we need to know that we are the same. Right? Whether you have ownership for that land. If you don't have ownership, then you have to find a forge lease agreement or something else. That will take some more time. Without that, they were not ready to give you that thing. Right? Then you need to go for a lawyer, have a lease agreement, and this land will not be made for so much. Right? Then we can hear about the place and they so, so many other things. And then sometimes they will ask that if they need to which, uh, physically come and see your place. Right? Then they don't have chance of passage, then you have to pay for the training. Right? Otherwise, we won't come. Right? Then all those things, I don't know how long it takes. At least three weeks. May extend up to six months or one year for regular, you know, dispute of that person. So likewise, sometimes you need to have some further relationship. You may need to give some dinner for him and so and so, right? To get this business in proper way. That is what happened to this country, right? So however, now at least I'm sure that will take three weeks to register sort of partnership. If everything goes this much, that never will be. Right? Unless you have a informal relationship. With those things. Right. So, therefore, it's not easy to incorporate the uh, sorry, register a sort of partnership. Right. You can't do it whenever when you want, right? But when this comes to the company, how do you incorporate the company? Companies from 2018, you only can incorporate online. No physical incorporation of company at all. It's long before the COVID period. It started 2018. Right? At that time, it was option down mandated. No physical registration at all. Right? When I incorporate company, I'm a company secretary. So I incorporate companies at midnight. On my page. Right? One company incorporated as well, Palmata, Tamil, and the regime. So Tom Kahai can take a ballot. Compared to the government, because it is also cheap market rate. Right? Can we place a business at midnight? Can we even think at least that way something? No. But company you can incorporate at any time, on any day, at any place of the world. Those people in this continent, Qatar, whatever, from their places they can incorporate the company here in Sri Lanka. Right? That only need the laptop or computer in the internet and the credit card. Right? No physical registration of company. For you people, you are very comfortable with the online things, you will only take it half hour. Right? If everything is done properly, only thing is we have to fill on dot of line. Then you have to take a printout, sign and upload, scan and upload. Then if you make a payment method, probably credit card. Then probably following day, if everything is in order, you will get that your company is incorporated and they will send you the e certificate of incorporation with the barcode. If you want, you can take a print out. So then you have a separate person in front of you. That's it. That's how you incorporate a company. We'll take two days maximum. I don't think that you can register any distance in Sri Lanka with two days. If you done it in Saturday or uh, Sunday, still you will get it on Saturday or uh, Monday. Okay. So anytime you can do it. Okay. It's really good. If you started with registration, now you can't do anything with the company source with the physical. Each and every form also now can only be filed online. Okay. Go on full digital. Maybe the first. Government organization, go and visit. They also try to in Sri Lanka, you know. So what do you think the main uh, belly in Sri Lanka to go and visit? 
Kan itu kan kita tu dia kita tu. Aku belok kanan. Baik. Baik kan? Jika pilihan kita dah ni, kalau mana ni? Kau mana? Mesti ada tu. Bahan yang kalau ramai kan. Sometimes, some people have a song when they introduce something. I know one person who was in the provincial Indian Health Department. They have introduced one way to decide the market right. That meant I had to go home. Right. You might have some experience in that as you might have, maybe. If you have read so and so, it's part of the land, if there's transfer, you have to pay it in the stem into the master file. For that, you have to go to the provincial Indian Health Department. They will decide. Right? In that case, they have a very different goal. They are. That they will decide the market price according to the amount they receive. Right? They will decide it. If you take it for 100 million, you want it 50 million, they will get it done. Right? Only thing is, they need one point. Right? For the 10 million, 4%, 400%. Then, the market will pass it and you will get it. Right? All the they are not secret in this country, right? Therefore, the person who introduced that digital system had to go home. That is what's going on Right? So one of the main why in this country to go digital is probably nothing but private and corruption. Right? You cannot do private and corruption on digital device. 50 percent can be taken. Right? That's the main reason in this country that there are sufficient to go digital. Payment came from like the government and put it on the way, right? We all say the politicians are corrupt, right? But the CNDT is not right. Those officials are more corrupt than the politicians in this country. Officials are more corrupt, right? So we have the best government, MP, that best suited for us in this country, right? Okay, that's in official set up, we shall have a new number there. After one country, we shall have a new number there. That because those people are also really, really, you know, tribal corruption is only the end in this country. Right? But we only talk about the politicians. Right. So, uh, so that is how you incorporate a company, I mean, right? Very simple. So, the, this section says how to incorporate a company. Any person or persons may apply to incorporate a company. What is meant by any person? That implies that even now, one person can incorporate a company, right? If it's come to the guarantee company under section 32, it is start with two or more persons can apply to incorporate a guarantee company. Because for the guarantee company, minimum members are two. But for the limited company, any person, no person. That means even a single individual can incorporate a company. Any person, no person, persons can apply to incorporate a company by making an application to the registrar in the test type form signed by each of the initial shareholders together with the power of the Therefore, there are established proper four forms. Nothing has to incorporate a company. Those forms are very clear. Form 1, Form 18, Form 19, and articles of association, and that's it. Right? Those are all the forms required to incorporate in small partnership for what you never know what are the required documents. That depends on the it is a registration of business is a provincial subject in Sri Lanka. Therefore, according to the different province, they will decide it. For the western province, different, northern province, different, southern province, different. Because it is a after 1987 provincial subject. Right. And also that may slightly differ from provincial secretariat to secretariat. And also on their attitude. Therefore, you never know what they want. Some people may need the lease agreement, some may need the deed, some may need the financial statement, some may need the bank details, right? But to compare, it is very clear. A declaration, that is the form one, that's the application form. In the application form, there is a declaration that the proposed company name is not similar or identical to that of an existing company. Right? As that declaration is there in the application form, it is known as a declaration. That is form one. That is the all for the application form. 
So that's the one requirement to incorporate a company, only two pairs. Only thing is, you have to fill on the dotted line. In fact, you don't need to even fill the dotted line. When you fill whatever they ask at the very beginning, that automatically will come. You only need to download it. Right? Then you have to sign that, scan and up. Only two pairs. Right? Then you need the articles of association. To incorporate the company, there must be articles of association. Right? It looks like a little complex, not? Right? But that is also simplified. It is simplified by giving model articles. Okay. At the end of the comparison, there are about 15 schedules. The first schedule to act is the model articles of limited compare. Therefore, compares, especially private limited compares, can take the model articles as it is without any change. Only thing is, you can take them as it is. It is nicely drafted, then you can sign at the end. So that is the requirement of the articles of association. But you have a full freedom option to modify it. But that is you can take as it is. That's still perfectly drafted. Right? So therefore, that is also not that much contesting because act provides the model articles of association. Then to form and start and carry on business, you have to have a director. So directors have to use their consent in Britain to act as a director of that company. So that form is known as the consent of directors. That is also already available. You don't need to do nothing. Right? So that is form 18. That is form 18. So as the secretary, companies also have to have a secretary to incorporate their calendar. Secretary also has to give her or his written consent to act as a secretary of that company. That is also one page, right? So that is form 90. That is also one page. So those are the all requirements to incorporate a company. All others are optional. Those are the mandatory requirements. Form 1, form 80, form 90. They are very available. You have to download, get a printout, find, scan, and up. Articles of association, there's some modern articles. You again have to take a print out and sign and up. Right? Then the requirement is done. Nothing is, nothing else is required. There are some optional uploading if you really want. But they don't, not, none of them are compass. At least some people believe they need a copy of identity card. Some people say they need a role plan. They all are motion. There's no place to upload. Right. For him, he can then a manga man, one has got three and not give up, two pair of the other. You upload the other, man. They trust you. That's all they want. They do write it to IG number, whatever. They trust you. They don't ask any copies. That's, that is how Indian Railroad comes. You know, those details automatically comes. If your details are there, whenever you type the identity card, sometimes some details automatically comes. Right. Then if you are the shareholder, if you also are the director, only thing is you have to take make this shareholder director. Such a simple thing. You have a problem with that. Right? You have to pick, make this shareholder director. That's automatically comes. Right? So they are such a simple thing to incorporate a company. Right? So once all the three forms are filled and articles are signed and that is can and upload, then you have to make a payment method. If it's a limited company with the two directors, the amount is around 20,000. Each form, 2,000 plus that, and tax, form one, 4,000 plus tax. So probably around 20,000. Is it a big one for the business people? Not at all. Therefore, you can't say it is effective. But people blindly say they are effective. So maybe if you go behind the lawyers and the some uh, legal firm, they may charge from 50,000 to 500,000. Right? If you come to me, yeah, looking at your case, I will predict this I may, but my charges are probably from 50,000 to 100,000. Right? That is how lawyers manage. But we move over the property side. Right? On the other side, there are 100,000. Right? But they have done 100,000, 50,000. Right? So that's lawyers. Right? Politicians are same. Right? 
on the third plane. Okay. So compare to introvert, your business. You are not You are your own. But the still the best class. So if you want to do business without discussing your name, you can do that. There are some people like you, you are in the party, same party center, where you can do business. So you can incorporate the content. So you can do business under that, incorporate that name without discussing your name. People do it. There's nothing wrong. Right? So, therefore, the single shareholder campaigns are but if you read this section, that is very big. Right? If you read this section, which is very big, I don't know whether you can understand it. What does it say? It says a company shall have a president to shareholders. We have a, next week, you see, throughout the law, they use the term shall and may. If it use the term shall, it is mandatory. If they use the may, it is optional. So it says the company shall have not less than two shareholders. That is because if it's a public company, if it's a guarantee company, right, then there must be at least two members. Then it gives some exception. Provided so that a company may have a single shareholder, that single shareholder may be government, body corporate, or an individual. It looks like there should not be any member. Right. Then take part in the Pula, a car and go in the Pula, company up in the Pula, only get the Pula. So I don't know whether there's a real meaning, but anyway, single shareholder companies are standing there. That is why I think there are some issues when they are the voter, there was a president. There were few companies that were incorporated in a single shareholder under the government. But this, it looks like if the government starts a single shareholder company, it has to be started under the name of the Secretary of the Treasury. Secretary of the Treasury represents the government. Therefore, if the government wants to start a single shareholder company, it is to be incorporated under the Secretary of the Treasury. But more than 16 or 17 single shareholder companies are incorporated under the Sri Lanka name. Not under the Treasury's name, but individual's name. That was the issue. I don't know what happened in those cases. Right. However, this is, I think, the reason for this vague wording is that at the very beginning, they, when they introduced, they did not have individual law secretary to the center. Right? It said at the very first draft, a company shall have not less than two shareholders, provided that a company may have a single shareholder where such single shareholder is the body corporate. That makes sense. Ne? When that draft was discussed in the parliament for the second time, the government also proposed that government also should be given the freedom to start a single shareholder company. Then they add that single shareholder may be government or, sorry, body corporate or secretary to the treasurer. When it is about to pass at the parliament, some members, especially members from the JVP, argue that even the individuals should be given freedom to start a company. This time to start a single shareholder company, which are also involved in other countries. Then suddenly they add all oh, individual and law was passed. I think that is why there's a vague working. You will have a good camera to do that. You will have that all individual that law to pass. So therefore, it looks like a little way, right? And also there are issues with the public companies are also types of limited company, whether they can incorporate the company into single name. So those are issues to be decided. One day, if there's any case before the court, otherwise they will be there without any settlement. However, unfortunately, sometimes there is even in the aerial paper, I know there are some questions from this type of vague issues. Even no one knows what's the minimum number of members in a limited company. Nick, private limited company, it is one. But for the public company, no one knows. But in our papers, they have a question. I don't know who made the question, who made the answer. In our paper, a limited company, economic is also a public company. Nick. Because they can again, they have one of them, and they have No one knows. If you have a paper, you can't get a paper. 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 You can't get a
आणि तिसरी नाव पाच ठिकाणी तीन मेंबर्स आहे आणि पार्टनरशिप मेंबर्स आर लिमिटेड टू ट्वेंटी बाय कम टॅक्स सेक्शन फाईव्ह वन नाईन वन इन जनरल पार्टनरशिप मेंबर्स आर लिमिटेड टू ट्वेंटी बाय सेक्शन फाईव्ह वन नाईन टू इट इज नॉट अ रेस्ट्रिक्शन फॉर द प्रोफेशनल पार्टनरशिप फॉर इट यू कॅन हॅव इवन हंड्रेड पार्ट आता एक पेपर अरे एका विसा याच्यामध्ये काढा लिमिटेड टू ट्वेंटी जनरल चेंजिंग पार्टनरशिप बट एनी अदर पार्टनरशिप प्रोफेशनल पार्टनरशिप they are maybe 100 part that's no issue right. so likewise there are some questions if there are no proper answers are there in the a level pay because all those people are not lawyers right they don't ask lawyers to come and help them right business are going to help them up in the hand in the airport that's not a textbook 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 कंपनी So once they issue a certificate of incorporation, right? So it tells the yes. In their file, they have they enter into all the particulars of the company, and they also assign a unique number for the company. Each and every company has a, its own unique number. Always we use the company with the registered number so and so. If it's a private company, the registered number comes with P V. If it's a listed company, the registered number comes with P Q. They always remember when you write the company name, write with the company number. Because two names, even though they are cannot be similar names, still there are some identical names. Sometimes I have seen U.S. Car Sales Private Limited and V.S. Car Sales Private Limited. Likewise, there are some identical names. But there cannot be similar registration number. Therefore, it is always advisable to use the registered number as well. Right? And then they will issue a certificate of incorporation. Certificate of incorporation of a company is almost similar to the birth certificate of a natural person. We all have a birth certificate. So company is also a person. The company's birth certificate is the certificate of incorporation. It says the name of that person. It says the birthday of that person. It also says what type of company it is. It's a private company or offshore company. Right. When there is a certificate of incorporation, no one can deny the fact that there is no such a person. Because certificate of incorporation is a conclusive evidence to show that there is such a person. From that date, it was incorporated. And it also implied that all the requirements was properly complied with, like filing forms and the paying prescribed fees. Right. So the purpose of uh, issued the certificate of incorporation is to make the jail public aware of this new person. That is why there's a public notice is also issued. When the company is incorporated within 30 days, it is published uh, with the public papers in three languages. Therefore, that inform the general public the acceptance of that new person. And certificate of incorporation being issued, from that point, company become a separate body corporate. It is separate from those who form it, own it, and manage it. Right? So, in the eyes of law, this is a person just like you and me. Right? So, this is a metaphysical person which has no physical existence. Right. So company must incorporate the law believe just as law believes you. It can act. It can link it to contract. It can employ people. It can borrow money. Right. So it can have properties, bank account, vehicles, lands, whatever. Right. So whatever you and me can do, the company can do the same. Can you and can be sold. Right? Just a person like you and me. But no 
फिजिकल एक्सिस्टेंस नो सोल नो बॉडी राइट आत्मिक रूप में शारीरिक रूप में तो देर इज अट्स यूनिक क्रिएशन ऑफ लो टू गिव अ All the rights and privileges enjoyed by the natural person, physical being, for a non-physical being. So, with the incorporation, so they enjoy all the rights that we have discussed. It becomes a separate person. It has a continuation. The liability is limited because we discussed about the incorporation of limited content, and the shareholders can, can freely transfer their shares, and they can make. Uh, floating charge over its assets and the separate management and ownership is separate. If you talk about this separateness of a company, so this is uh, yes recognized by the Companies Act and also by the courts. Right. So law recognizes two types of persons as natural person and the artificial person. So natural persons are the person like you and me. Artificial persons are the incorporate bodies. Not from the campaigns, but the incorporate bodies are artificial persons. It may be municipal council, Padre uh, Saba, university, Sakti school, whatever. They all are incorporate bodies. Right? So, those artificial persons can be created only by Sri Lankan parliament in Sri Lanka, not any other party. Parliament can do it by two ways by passing a special act. Like by the NBA Act, Two Point Cooperation Act, Universities Act, Private Sabha Panta, Municipal Council Ordinance, those are special acts which establish those institutions. And that can be also done by passing general act. The general law is the best example is the Companies Act or Cooperative Ordinance. Right? Anything registered under that law are also corporate bodies. As I told you before, the importance of the company act is you don't need to incorporate every company separately. Right? You can incorporate company under this act, all become legal persons. So this separateness, the separateness of company from its owners and shareholders and the directors, in legal terms are known as the way of incorporation. Once companies incorporate, there's a way. But it's behind it is a separate person. That's a legal term they use. Right? I don't know how they come to it. They look incorporated in Kerala and Sansta Hulk. That it's a separate person. Maybe it comes from this Christian wedding. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit done. Right? Also, a relationship with a man. Maybe you need some money available. Once you lift the veil and kiss, then you have a separate name. Then, Maybe that could be from marriage, maybe. Maybe we can use that criteria, but now you are starting to change, right? Then you are a separate person, right? Not the same person. So this separate trust of a company is clearly identified by the company, by section two. Section 2, they can clearly identify that the company is a separate person. So, section 2 says, right, if you want to get this from your mobile phone, right, so it says, a company is a body corporate within and outside Sri Lanka. If the company is incorporated under company tax number 7 from 2007, from that point, company become a separate person from within and outside Sri Lanka. So it's clearly identified once in corporate companies are separate persons. And it further says it has the capacity to carry on or undertake any business or activity. Right? Do any act or entry to any transaction. Right? So it says company can do anything but we can do. Right? And it further says it has all the powers and privileges necessary for that purpose. Right? So from that section, law recognized company just as no trade union, which can do anything. It has all the capacity, powers, and privilege for that purpose. But the truth is, it is not a physical being. Therefore, it definitely needs the help of the natural person to get these things done. Those natural persons are probably shareholders and directors. Company has all the discussion to appoint third party to get this fixed up. 
effects. However, those people who have compensated to get it done are known as compensated agents. Therefore, according to the agency law, agents are not liable. So, liability responsibility must be taken by the company. Therefore, company can get the help of the other parties to get these things done, but as a principle, company is liable for all the acts of those other people who help the company to get these things done. Right? Say, as an example, if a company do something, the director, so someone can sign this name, but it is the company's own act. Those directors may not be there in next month, but still company is liable because company is the principal. Other people only help the company to get these things done. So, the company is the solution. Then, those authorized person can find it, but company is liable for that. Right. Was your time now? For 30? Huh? For 50? Alright. For there is not a full time that they were on. For a stream that you were on, they were on. Yeah. Right. Uh, this section in turn also says that the owners are not liable for the act of obligation of the contract. For the son of law. Right. It also says that a shareholder should not be liable for any act, default or an obligation of the company. Then who is liable? For the company's default obligation, who is liable? Company itself. Company itself, not shareholders, not directors. Company should take responsibility. Right? So that is what the company's act says. Then from next week, we will discuss what the judges say, right? So there are hundreds of cases, thousands of cases all over the world that also again and again confirm that concern is a person like you and me, right? If you can get these things done for those actions, no shareholders, no directors are liable, right? So that is why it is also confirmed by the that then it is like very strong. If the law is passed and says something that is enough, but if the judges also accept it, it's like very strong. So this concept is accepted by the courts all over the world. That company is a separate person. It is accepted time as far as 1897. And it's still the law. Right? So we discussed those cases. And some practical scenarios where you can use this concept of cooperation to get some advantages for your job done. Right? Legal, you can use that concept. Ne? Tax code can be used as well. Ne? Right? Illegal money, some of it is used as well. And then my time can be used as well. You can use it 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 as well. So we incorporate the company. There's no limit for the company to buy that. Right? But when you know the laws, there are ways to get them done. Right? Like that, this is only one thing, right? The foreigners of Lanka are going to be acting on that. They can have them. Almost all the beautiful lands in front of the beaches, lake or water, we don't know. That's how do they buy that? They use the concept of cooperation. Right? They are beyond the shelf that. Right? The only shareholder is those companies that those foreigners. Right? Those are the ways to get things done, to use legal the concept of the corporation. Right? So we we'll continue this lesson and try to identify some case law and some practical scenarios where business people use the concept of corporation. Okay, then thank you very much for coming today. Uh, if you have any question, you can raise it quickly. Yes. Try to have a copy of the Companies Act. Those who join in it online, you can download the Companies Act. Please take it ready by next week. Do you have any questions, any issues? Not sure, right? Very difficult part. 
Okay, then thanks again. So we will see you next week. Have a good time.